I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, we're playing with some new Sephora makeup that I actually bought from the clearance section. We do have one item that's not from the clearance section that I paid full price for. But other than that, everything is really affordable and still available on their clearance and sales site. So if you're interested to see what I use today, just keep on watching. But before that, don't forget, if you like drugs and makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And if you can like the video, if you like it, let me show you guys the products that we're gonna be working with today. We're using a couple of Sephora products, including their mattifying primer, as well as their mattifying setting powder. I also went ahead and threw on some lashes from the House of Lashes and Sephora collab. We use the Huda Beauty Dual Ended Liner, comes with a gel liner as well as a liquid liner. We're playing with the Beauty Blender Foundation. And lastly, we're playing with the Violet Voss Sweet Violet Eyeshadow Palette. If you wanna see my thoughts on everything and how I got this look, just keep on watching. The video's gonna start right now. All right, as you can see, brows are filled. I went ahead and used my You Can Be Brow Styling Soap. And this is really, really good. As you can see, it really did laminate them and they're really like on there. So I don't know if I over applied this, but it's honestly really, really good and it definitely works so i'm really glad that i decided to pick this up and i did pair it along with the aoa studio slim brow in ebony so from the intro we have a new palette from violet voss this was actually retailing for 17 dollars, i believe and this is the sweet violet palette and it's a fun size palette meaning it's just a little mini and I've actually never tried Violet Voss's shadows and I did swatches for you guys so I'll have it on the screen. It comes with so many beautiful purple tones in here. The mattes swatch so nicely on the skin and then these shimmers were pretty nice as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this palette taking this first shade down here. Taking that shade, I'm just gonna go ahead and start. And this palette does come with a mirror as well. All right, that first shade went on rather nicely. It's really pigmented. So I'm just gonna start going into the deeper shades in here. I'm just gonna mix these two and start smoking out the outer corner. You wanna make this really purpley. I am packing on the deeper shade and then blending with a different brush just so the pigmentation can stay on the lid. I went ahead and cut the crease, so I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to take this shade here. I think I'm going to take some of this in the inner part of the cut crease. And this shade does seem to be more of a glitter topper, really thin kind of shimmer shade. But most of the lid is going to be this shade here, so I'm going to go ahead and pack that on. But you see how there's a little bit of patchiness there? I'm noticing with these last two on the bottom of the palette, that they're like packing on really nicely but then when you blend they kind of blend away so hmm maybe it's just because they're purple because you know how a lot of people say making purple shadows is a little difficult blah 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 i'm thinking that's what the situation is i'm not the biggest fan of it so far i really like the shimmers i'm still gonna make it work but trying to pack it on out here like it packs on nicely but then once you start to blend it blends away See, it just like blends away, which is really weird. All right, so the plan is I'm gonna pack it on. I'm not gonna blend. And then the wing should hide it. So I'm not like worried about the patchiness or whatever. So once I throw on a wing, it should hide this part. But just so you know, it's just not looking that great. Yeah, I started noticing that before the cut crease went on. So I know it's not the concealer that's doing that. Um, it's the shadows. Of course, I'm going to keep trying it out, but so far, that's something I'm noticing. Just so you guys know, before, if you want to purchase it or whatever. Let me know if you own this palette, if you experience the same thing as me, where it just kind of blends away. All right, moving on, we're going on to eyeliner, and today we have the Huda Beauty. I think it's called like the Dual Life Liner Very Vanta Extreme Black. It comes with a pencil liner on one side and a liquid liner on the other. That's the pencil liner. I did swatch these in my massive drugstore hauls and they're really, really nice. We are going to use the liquid side right now. That's how that looks. All right, so that is a liner. I felt like it was okay. It's a really matte type of formula, so you have to work fast with it because once it dries, 
it dries so it's gonna be a little difficult to like go over it at all I did go ahead and throw on a little bit of the Santee diamond liner over top and I think it looks rather nice so throw on some mascara using the Too Faced damn girl mascara I really like it and now we're gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes so today we're using the Sephora and House of Lashes collab and these are the ones in I believe the name is Lapis I don't know girl I have no idea but these are really nice I already did measure them on my eye and I feel like I'm not gonna cut them so let me throw these on we'll be right back all right lashes are on I went ahead and threw them on they look really nice they are rather dramatic ish I think they're like in the medium kind of spectrum of lashes I think these are really nice they went on really easily as well and I didn't have to cut them so I'm really liking the lashes the lashes were on sale on the Sephora website Going on to primer we have the Sephora beauty amplifying mattify primer this one is more of like an orangey type of consistency oh yeah it feels kind of silicone on the skin and there is just a little bit of a tacky feeling when this is going on the skin as well which I think is going to be great for when you throw on foundation it's just a little bit of a little tacky feeling on the back of the product it says instantly mattify with this water-based cooling gel primer it is rather cooling on the skin it says it's a gel primer green tea and damask rose extract help cancel oil shine while minimizing the appearance of pores using gentle tapping motions apply sparingly to targeted areas all right so i think so far so good with this oh yeah it definitely blurred the skin really nicely so i want to see how the foundation will go over top because it looks really nice it feels kind of when i move it i can kind of feel it on the skin which is really weird but we'll see how the foundation again goes over top of this and how it looks today's foundation we have the bounce foundation from beauty blender this was also on sale i got mine in 3.35 w so we'll see if this matches okay i'm gonna pour some there i don't know how much i need all right let's see I feel like it's matching my neck rather well. All right, so that is the foundation on. Honestly, you can tell it really does mattify the skin. It is gonna be perfect for people with oily skin because it is like a matte type of foundation. I can already feel it like getting matte on my skin. I think the shade is really nice as well. I think it's matching my neck rather well. So we'll see how this wears throughout the day. Of course, I'll update you guys down below, but so far so good. I'm really liking this, especially because it's matte. And I tend to go for that since my skin is a little oily and I am using a dewy type of uh, setting spray later on. So I think they're going to pair really nicely. So far it looks so nice. It's definitely full coverage and it feels pretty comfortable on the face. The last product that we have to test out is the Sephora Pressed Setting Powder. And this says using a brush or sponge gently sweep powder over skin to set. So this is what I'm using today. It does come with a mirror and then this is a product but once you like go ahead and go in there it's a really interesting formula because it looks white but it does turn transparent so we'll see how this works and it also does come with a mirror but honestly i don't have to set this foundation too much because it's so matte honestly i don't want it to get matte cakey as well so i'm just gonna kind of go over some areas here and I do get oily in my T-zone area, so that's where I'm going to powder the most. I can tell you right now, this foundation's not for people with dry skin. Unless you like that matte look. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine like if your skin's already dry and you throw this foundation on. No, it's like really matte. So if you're like the oiliest of the oiled kind of skin people, um, I'm kind of like in the medium now. I'm starting to notice I used to be really oily in high school and I'm, I think my skin is getting a little better where it's not super oily anymore, but it's still kind of oily by the end of the day, especially in my T-zone area. Um, so I'd say if you're like really, really oily and you love those matte, kind of really matte intense foundations, you're gonna enjoy this girl because it's matte. I'll give you guys a little close up look at how we're looking right now. Now it looks really nice. It honestly doesn't look too cakey unless you look at my nose or here. You guys know I get um, really dry in this area for some reason, but I always forget to throw on a hydrating primer there. I don't know why, so I'm gonna try that another day, another time. Um, but I do get extra dry here and sometimes on my nose, but 
I think this looks really nice. I think this is definitely gonna be more of a special occasion type of foundation, not for everyday use, especially not for like running errands and stuff, but we'll see how this wears. Again, the details on the wear test are gonna be down below, um, but honestly, it's looking rather nice. We don't have any other new products to try out today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let's just finish up the face together. I'm gonna take the C Color Natural Face Palette and i'm gonna throw some of this on you guys don't know i've been loving this palette i don't know what it is i love that it comes with a mirror i love the tones in here i love the contour shade on my skin or the bronzer shade um it just looks so beautiful so i'm taking the matte bronzer and i'm just gonna go ahead and sculpt the face a little bit and again i'm not taking any on my forehead because i tend to go so overboard it always looks so off so I'm just like taking it on the cheeks and then a little bit here. I also did not cream contour or do any creams today actually. So we're just wearing the foundation and then powder products. This is such a beautiful palette. I don't know what it is. I can't stop reaching for it. I just love how it looks. Well actually we still have to try out the gel side of that Huda liner. I just remembered that. We have to finish the lower lash line as well. So we'll do that. Now, all right, going back to the Huda Beauty situation, we're gonna take the gel side. This is really, really pigmented, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh my God. It's really pigmented. Wow, that was really quick. <laughs> this is really nice, really pigmented, so black, actually. If you love those black type of liners, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. And it is like a matte liner as well. It's not shiny at all. It's like a matte liner. So I think you're gonna really enjoy this if you're into that. Going back into the palette, I'm just gonna take the same purple shades and throw them on the lower lash line. I'm taking one of my new Metamorphosis brushes. It's like a really thin type of brush. I'm gonna dip into those two purple shades. that the lower lash line is done i'm gonna go ahead and go back here and i'm gonna take the highlight shades there is like a couple videos where i forgot my inner corner highlight i don't know how that happened and it was a day where i filmed two videos in one day literally both videos completely forgot about highlight in the inner corner i've never done that i don't know how that happened and then just taking some on the face this is a really nice highlight shade all right, now we're going on to lips. I'm taking my Ebony York lip liner. This one's in Chestnut, which is a really beautiful purpley liner. For liquid lipstick, we're going on to the Too Faced Melted Matte, and this one's in Wine Not, my fave. I haven't used this in a while. Lastly, for lips, I'm taking the lip gloss from Second Love Cosmetics, and this is our Luminous Lip Gloss in the shade Eclipse. One of my faves. I love these glosses. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Let me know down below what was your favorite product from today's video or if you own any of it. Starting off with my thoughts, I'm going into the Sephora items. And the setting powder I think worked rather well. It definitely did mattify the face. But foundation was already matte as it was. But I think this worked rather well. It didn't change the color of the foundation from what I saw. So I'm going to keep using it and keep updating you guys as well as with the primer. I think this was also a really nice item. Then we used a lot of mattifying products and you can definitely see it. But I did throw on some of the e.l.f. Dewy Mist so it does look a little more lifelike now. Like a little more lively than before. It was really, really matte. But I think these were really nice and I, I'm going to keep using them and see how these work later on. But so far, first impressions, I really liked both of them. As well as the lashes, I didn't have really high hopes for these lashes, honestly, but they look really nice on the eyes. So if you've been looking for some really nice, almost dramatic, I think they're okay. I think these are really nice for like everyday use. Um, lashes, I think you should check these out. These are really inexpensive. They were in the clearance and sales section of Sephora, so definitely check them out. The Beauty Blender Foundation, again, it looks really nice, extremely, extremely matte, so perfect for those people who are really oily. And again, I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day. And the update on the wear test is going to be down below, so I'll let you guys know again in other videos how I feel about this. But so far, so good. It looks really nice. It's definitely full coverage. As for the Huda Beauty situation, I think this is really nice as well. I love the fact that it's a dual liner. It's really convenient and it's a really matte liner. So if you enjoy that, definitely pick this up. It is something you have to work quick with, especially on the liquid side. But I think it looks nice and it was rather easy to use. So I'm really impressed by this as well. Lastly, going on to the Vila Voss 
palette i think this is really cute i really love the size of the palette i love the look again i did show you guys that it was coming off just a little patchy some of the darker shades were a little hard to work with because if you blended them they blended away but if you pack them on they just looked kind of patchy so we'll see i'm gonna keep using this and again update you guys in future videos i think the look looks amazing but i think the formula needs a little bit of work with that we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this video today everything that i talked about on the names of the prices is going to be done below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget i upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i'll have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from drugs are high end so if that interest you go ahead and follow me there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person and make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one